Good evening guys, Marcus here, Pipe Beards and Guns. Today we have a little review and we will be reviewing Dunhill Durbar. So with everything about Dunhill closing down factory uh, and some other ones taking over or going to make their blends or kind of blend anyways uh, of the Dunhill backhoes. We'll see how that end up, but this will be the first time I try out uh, Dunhill Durbar. So you guys will uh, get my first impressions. Before we start, uh, I wanted to give uh, a shout out to OTC Piper and his brother Catholic Pipesteader for uh, starting a new channel called uh, uh, the Sacred Leaf Society. So check out the bucket below for a link to that uh, youtube channel and subscribe two good guys very interesting chats and uh, good content so check them out and subscribe to their private channels as well to otc piper and catholic pipester so now we've done that I haven't opened this tin yet, so maybe we should start with that and give a tin up and everything. So it's a, it's an English Balkan blend, I would say, or I might say. Uh, it contains, I think, it bright and dark Virginias, some Balkan, I don't know what, but, and the Latakia. So, uh, so let's see, let's open this one up. I know I can get more of this. Oh, so I would probably order a few tins and uh, and stock them up in the cellar if I like it. So, by what I read, I'm I'm supposed to like this one. Anyways, mmm, smells promising. quite windy out here today I don't want to flip this can over and or tin over and have all the tobacco flow around the balcony so we have it open the bright colors are a mix from everything from black to uh, dark brown and, and bright brown I wouldn't say it smells a lot like Ladakia, it's not too uh, pungent, more like uh, Middle Eastern, like maybe it's from the Balkan. It has this sweet background note to it, uh, I guess it's from the Virginias. But it also, all, it has this dark uh, kind of. Um, what do you call this? You burn sticks, like incense. Really, really nice. A bit fruity. Some Larakia, not a lot. Um, I get the, the Balkan part of it. It's uh, doing it part. Dude, I had a long hair here. I don't want that in my bowl. So I'm gonna smoke this out of my lovely Peterson 20S. Uh, and uh, let's see what I think. From just the tin note, I think I will like it. You know, I, I really like the, the Balkan lens. Uh, and even even if it's not a lot of, a lot of Latakia in it, I guess, you know, that the all around you know, blend of the all all the different tobaccos in it uh, might be to my tasting. Uh, so there it is. It's definitely perfect straight out of the tin. Uh, this wasn't wet at all. Almost a bit on the dry side, I might say. So I'll close this lid. I have a mason jar that's ready for this. Uh, when I get back in so I got this this tin from a Danish pipe shop 
I know they have more so I will probably order a few I'm also having a, a beer to my pipe today uh, piston head flat tire so this is what we call in Sweden a, a people's beer or folk earl so earl is beer folk is people so this is a this is a people's beer it's only a 3.5 percent alcohol uh, so this you can buy in regular stores uh, everything stronger than that you have to go to the Systembolaget or to the liquor store or <coughs> government control liquor store I would say and buy it everything is really high taxed and really expensive <laughs> who could think something else it would of course be expensive it's Sweden for crying out loud so let's do it uh, O to see pipe away and light it with a with a match in these super windy conditions. Oh come on. Definitely dry. I think my pipe is ghosting somewhat. I was smoking a burly English in this one prior. And I can taste that burly. Maybe not, but it has this incense fragrant to it, like perfumey whatever you call it and I think I need to try this one out in another pipe <clears throat> or have a few bowls of it in this one before I can make up my mind if it's ghosting or not very nice smoke not a lot of Larakia, just a, a pinch, I would say. More a Balkan blend. I have the sweetness in the back room. In the back room, around, can't speak today. So while I smoke this a little bit more and give you more feedback in a short while, um, I'll just pause the video for a bit and come back when I'm half, halfway now. So see you soon. Oh shoot, already back. I'm not halfway down yet. Got a little bit overly excited about this one. So. While I was gone, it really, you know, struck me. This is a really even blend. It's an even smoke. And when you get down a bit further in it, when you build up that, you know, that even heat of the embers and all, it, um, it really gives it a good, good taste to it sweet you have those balkan or what i otherwise would have called turkish leaf in it that's cyprian larachia those virginias you you get hit bombarded by this sweet nice smoke and um, somewhat of a spice to it from the from the balkans doing a retro hail you, you feel it it's tingling up there <laughs> and you guys I just did one light with the match that's it nice fine white ash briar is the bowl is 
smooth to the touch. I need to get more of these tins, that's for sure. It reminds me of some other blend, but I, I can't just figure out what at the moment. I would say the room note is tolerable or it's absolutely fine. I'll have to ask my wife next time to come out here and, and smell. So a big A plus for this one. And uh, if you see some Dunhill Durbar, grab, grab those before it's out and you will not see it anymore. Or you will get the replacement Durbar, which might not be exactly the same, who knows. So I'm happy now. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, don't miss out on the sacred leaf society check the bucket below for the link to the to their channel all right over and out take care stay safe bye bye